Hi guys, welcome back. We are in Essential Elements on page 16 today, and we're looking at 73 hot muffins with a new note, which you guys, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I love a new note. So I'm excited today to get to teach you a new note. Clarinets, if you will look on your page, their new note today is B flat. So we've not had any sharps or flats yet. Now, sharps or flats are symbols that raise or lower a note by a half step, okay? Now, that may all sound a little bit crazy, but if you have a piano and you've seen the black keys and the white keys, if you have a white key and you wanted to play the flat of it, you would go to the black key right below it. So it'd be a half step below it. So today we're learning about B flat, half step below B natural. Now you've already learned B natural, which is um, one, two, three, and the middle finger of the right hand. You see that right there? That's B natural. You already know that note. But today we're learning B flat, which is very simple. We just switch to the first finger here, okay? You can see the fingering on your page. Thumb, one, two, three of the left hand, okay? And then you add that right hand first finger. You'll use this note a lot as a clarinet player. It is very, very common. So it's important that you're comfortable with it. We had already learned G and A and B natural, and now you've learned B flat. As I mentioned in previous videos, I really love this lower register that we play in as clarinet players. We have a big range, as I said before, a lot of low, rich, deep notes, all the way up to really, really high notes. But these low, deep, rich notes are always so pretty. Everyone can play them and sound really great on them. So I think you'll really enjoy playing this um, new note. So what we're gonna do is, I want you to put your fingers in the B flat, okay? The other fingers just hover above that are not pressed, okay? And I just want you to play a long note. Just hear what it sounds like, okay? So I'll play, you play. Okay, join me, make sure your sound's just like mine, okay? Check your armature, take a deep breath, support the sound, nice, rich sound as the air spins through the clarinet in a circular fashion, okay, ready? Together. take that same B flat and I want you to play it four times so four quarter notes B flat B flat B flat B flat ta 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 just to get used to playing it okay let's try it again here we go ready together four quarter notes ready good all right so now we're going to move on to hot muffins which incorporates the B flat into a piece of music now we're in two four time so we've moved away from three four time Okay, for a little while. We're in two, four time, two beats a measure. The half note takes up the whole measure, okay? And um, that B flat is written with that little symbol, okay? To let you know that that's a flat and not a regular B. You can see it in measure two, okay? Now, before we go forward, I want you to take your finger and go to measure one, two, three, four, five, okay? And in measure five, there's a B flat that starts the measure. And they write it with a B with the flat symbol. But then there are three more Bs without the flat symbol. But any time in a measure you have a flat or an accidental or a sharp signal, a symbol that tells you that the note is altered in some way, it continues throughout the whole measure because it would take up a lot of space to write B with the flat symbol, B with the flat symbol, B with the flat symbol, B with the flat symbol. It's a lot of space. So what they do is they just write it once and you know that it carries throughout the rest of the measure. It continues throughout the rest of the measure, okay? So in measure five, you have B flat and the next one is also B flat and the third and the fourth ones are also B flat, even though they only gave you the flat symbol once, okay? All right, so let's count and clap. I'll count and clap, you count and clap, then I'll play, then you play. This one's pretty short, so it should be fairly easy, and we're just getting used to that new note, okay? Here we go. Ready, count and clap. One, two, one. One, two, one. One and two and one and two and one, two, one. Okay, your turn. Count and clap with me. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one
one, two, one, one, two, one, one and two and one and two and one, two, one. Okay, now I'll play. You whisper play. Be very careful when you see that B flat, to put that first finger down, okay? Here we go, ready? <laughs> So, you might have noticed this sounds like hot cross buns, which I think you've played earlier in this book. But now, we've played the same thing, but starting on a different note and incorporating an accidental. So now, it's your turn to play with me. Here we go. Hot muffins. Here we go. One, two, ready. <laughs> should be fairly easy. Work on that B flat fingering, putting that first finger down to being comfortable and keeping the other fingers hovering above the tone holes because we're going to need those soon. And good luck practicing hot muffins. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.